What is the crack, everybody? My name is Jack of Potato, and you are watching. I don't know what you're watching, because <laughs> um, I'm just doing this recording after reading uh, an article uh, on Destructoid. I'll put a link to it in below somewhere, and. It says the the CEO of Crytek Industries. I am not even going to attempt to pronounce his name, um, but I think he's like Swedish or Dutch or something. Says that he wants to see single player games or single player campaigns abolished in games, and that if you want a single player, that it should be connected via the online experience. Um, so. There'd be no single. Think of Brink. The online and the single player were con uh, were combined. If you lost the match, then you you know feel that mission and the campaign. That was a really good idea. Uh, if Brink was a good game, a game that done it a wee bit better was Dark Souls and um, what's the other one? Dark Souls and uh, I don't even know what you called. No matter. Uh, what you could do in that game was. The entire the entire game was like a hub, and people could leave you messages on the floor, on the walls. They could leave you, you know, directions to hidden items or how to get past the next boss or just tips in general. Now that was a single player campaign mixed with multiplayer done right. Brink, we'll just not talk about Brink. Brink's a horrible game anyway. Um, but yeah, he wants to see single player campaigns abolished and multiplayer to take. You know the head rule, multiplayer and social interactions to take the lead rule in games, and I think that is ridiculous and is a really really stupid idea, because if you go back and look at any of the best selling games or the highest rated games ever, they're all single player games. They're all single player oriented games. Goldeneye, Half Life, Far Cry 3, Skyrim, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Mario. They're all single player games. And they go get the best reviews. And then Crytek come along with their games, um, which Crisis Three got like seven out of ten. Crisis Two got like six out of ten. Stupid, you know, stupid reviews. And they're coming along saying as if they know best. But single player games are the, you know, for me especially are what make a break. You know, a good game for me. I'll buy a game solely depending on its single player. I have a lot of great single players. I have Nino Kune. I have Tales of Vesperia. I have Far Cry 3. I'm looking over my my game collection across the room there. Um, I have Tales of uh, Graces F. Um, Prince of Persia, Rayman, Sonic Generations. Sonic Generations doesn't have a good story, but it has a good gameplay feature, which makes it worthwhile. And Rayman. Uh, again, doesn't have a really good story, but it still has a really good gameplay. But the games that are over there that aren't as good are things like Call of Duty, um, Halo Reach. Halo Reach had a really good single player. Um, that's a game done right. Far Cry 3, really good single player meh, meh, on multiplayer. It's still good, It's um, but it's just Call of Duty, really. Everything wants to be Call of Duty. Far Cry 2. Okay, single player, meh, multiplayer. Like, all the best games are single player. All the best games, all the greatest games that have been released in times have all had wonderful single player experiences. I challenge you to find a game that hasn't, you know, besides Call of Duty 4, because that was just revolutionary. That's the only reason why it's so high up, is that its multiplayer was revolutionary. It was, you know, mind-blowing. But any other great game has been single player orientated. I don't know why they think that combining the two things that are obviously meant to be kept apart into this one thing. Now, in saying that, I can see Destiny by Bungie doing single player and multiplayer right. But in a way, if uh, I'm not entirely sure if there will be a single player and a multiplayer side to Destiny or whether they'll be both you know, joined together, but at that point, it doesn't become a single player and a multiplayer experience, it becomes an MMO. Uh, well, a massively online RPG, first person shooter, whatever hybrid thing. That's a completely different thing in itself. Bioshock Infinite will be amazing. I, I will guarantee that now. Metal Gear Rising, amazing. 
Uh, Tomb Raider out this week will be amazing. For me, I like to play games, single player campaigns, as like reading a book. It's like a book that you can experience, a book that you can see and, you know, everything's laid out for you. Yes, that takes the whole point of a book away because you're meant to imagine all these things in your head. But when you get a stunning game, Prince of Persia, I've been playing Prince of Persia like from 2008 again, and like some of the scenes in that game are so stunning and so beautiful. Rayman, all the backgrounds are hand-drawn. Everything about that game is hand-drawn and they are stunning. Games that take their graphics or their online experiences and put them above the single player experience have just lost out on a great deal of something. I don't know what it is <laughs> but there's something to me about a single player game that's just magic. You're going into them games and you're looking to experience something that you can't in this world. I don't know about you, but I don't think we'll ever see things from like Rayman, or Sonic, or Prince of Persia, or Tales of Vesperia, or Nino Kune, like in this world ever. There are some things that resemble it. I know from where I live, there's some picturesque mountain scenes and lovely ocean vista views. And they're so stunning. There's just things in a game that you'll never be able to experience in your life. And I don't know why they want to take that away. And just have this online social experience. It sounds kind of like they're trying to turn gaming into Facebook. They're trying to turn gaming into one giant Facebook game. <laughs> and that's extremely silly. They're trying to make more money. Uh, they realize that they can't grab as many people with single player games only. But as I said, if you go back and look at all the great games, yes, GoldenEye had a good multiplayer. It wasn't online, it was just something you play with your friends in a room together rather than, you know, online. I have been part of many link ups with my friends. A link up for us is when we take all our Xboxes, it's a giant LAN party really, we take all our Xboxes into the one room and just play together online all night. And them experiences when you're actually with your friends and enjoying these games are so much better than, you know, just hearing them over a mic, you're seeing their experiences, you're getting their reactions, you're high-fiving, you're, you know, laughing together. But if if companies decide to get rid of single-player stories, I really think that I would just give up on gaming altogether. Single-players are what makes games for me. No, I'm, I'm really, to be honest, quite fed up with online games. But a single-player game is the crutch, really. They should start concentrating on single player and then I don't know what type of multiplayer you would call it but the type of multiplayer where you're in a room with your friends and you're sitting there enjoying it, enjoying the game together rather than listening to each other over a mic proper human interactions while playing a game to me that would make gaming so much more beneficial and so much more interesting for people that is a proper social experience playing games together in a room, you know, as a group of friends, rather than concentrating on, you know, making these games that just offer quick bursts of online entertainment and a social experience. But guys, this this rant really was literally just off the fly. Before I had done this, I literally read the article two minutes beforehand, and it just really annoyed me. You know, single player games are amazing to me. They are what make makes gaming gaming for me. They are, you know, gaming is my book. I hate reading. <laughs> I suppose you can tell by the way that I talk and my pronunciation of some things. But gaming online is losing its its flair for me. I when you're playing with your friends is what I enjoy about online gaming. When you're playing with your friends I don't want to be playing a single player campaign and having to interact with some pillock in flipping south of England somewhere trying to get him to tell me where to go and he's just like no I don't want to tell you where to go because I don't know what you I don't know about you guys but people online a lot of them are dicks <laughs> um, a lot of them just aren't nice people they all are just trolls and if you try to incorporate that with your single player experience trolling in single player the game will just not be enjoyable and gaming won't be enjoyable. I, For me, I go on multiplayer to get away from the single player campaign. I go on single player to get away from the multiplayer. 
Single player, you're just there by yourself. It's sad, I know, but you're enjoying something. You're getting experience out of a story and cinematic gameplay. But then online, you're just going on to you know show some people that you're better than them shooting an imaginary gun. Um, thanks for listening. Um, but yeah, my name is Jack Potato. I am a Christian gamer. I hate multiplayer. I love single player. And I will see you all next time.